Ladies and gentlemen, we have yet another handheld console to review. This is the RG40XXH, and this one is my favorite one so far. So let's go check out the quality of the emulation, and then I'll give you some pros and cons over here when we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the RG40XXH, and it's another Ambernic uh, emulator console. And while the other consoles normally look kind of similar to the Game Boy, this one looks a little bit more similar to the Switch, and that's what I've compared this to so far in my experience of testing it out. I'm not even exaggerating, these are the same exact thumbsticks as a Nintendo Switch, and they feel exactly the same. Very good quality. Uh, but these also have LED lights right here, which I have mine turned off. But you can turn them on and you can change the colors and stuff like that. So it's really all your preference. On the RG35XXSP, I was having trouble playing Nintendo 64 games. On this, you can play Nintendo 64 games perfectly. So then right away, this is the best console I have tested from them so far. The way this console fits in your hands, this is the most comfortable way I can think of playing Nintendo 64. So another area where this surprised me is this also has PSP games and this console looks very similar to a PSP or I guess more of a PS Vita because you have the second stick here. Every time I get one of these consoles, PSP does not work. And I was sure that was gonna be the case here. The PSP game I've been playing the most on here is Metal Slug and this thing is running amazingly. And this game is just a lot of fun. I know all the retro stuff is gonna work well, but let's play some Crash and Bandicoot, which is PlayStation 1. Because if PlayStation 1, PSP, and Nintendo 64 work perfectly, then I have no complaints for the gameplay. And look at this, it looks and runs perfectly. I played Crash Bandicoot when it first came out, and I have to say it is still as good as it was all the way back then. Everything is tight, there's no delay, and it's exactly how you want to play a game like this. So this will probably be my shortest review I have done on these consoles, because to give you the short version, I recommend this 100%, and this is without a doubt the best handheld retro console I have reviewed or played so far. Very simple. So a major pro I have for this, which seems like common sense, is it can play all the consoles that are, well, on the console. There's like 30 consoles on this, and this can play all of them well. For example, the RG35 XXSP, or even the Miu Mini Plus, some of those have like PSP games and Nintendo 64 games on them, and while they will play them, they won't play them well, it's glitchy, you can't turn, the sound stutters, I had absolutely no issues with this at all. And that's a great thing, like I want to be able to play the consoles that are on here. This has PSP games, and it looks and feels similar to a PSP, so I'd like to be able to play those games, and yeah, you can do that on this. And I think the price is very fair. This thing is $85. But if you use my link down below and use the code ROBOT at checkout, you save an additional 10%, so that's even a better deal. I can go on and on about all the things I like about it, but I think it's more important to get into the things I don't like about it. I said it last time, even though all these consoles seem different at first, they all come preloaded with the same exact games. Now this one can actually play all those games, so that's awesome, but I like to review these from the point of view of somebody just buying this, getting it in the mail, turning it on, and playing it. You don't want to load games to it, you don't want to change anything. So this has the same exact games as the console before, and then the console before that. But this can play those games, so you know, it has points for that. The next part kind of drives me crazy a little bit, and I know it's kind of a preference thing, but some of the buttons on this thing are so damn clicky. I don't know if I'd pick it up, but listen. Not a good clicky either. If you're playing a game where you need to be shooting or using these top buttons, that's gonna get annoying pretty quickly. The face buttons are pretty quiet and the thumbsticks, whatever, but these top buttons, not enjoying that. For example, I have my Switch right here, and same clickiness, I guess, or the same feeling, but these are a lot quieter. I'll press R on both of them so you can see the difference. Big difference, and it gets annoying pretty fast. Even though those buttons are loud and annoying, by no means does this thing feel cheap quality. It's actually pretty heavy, it feels really good in your hands, and it doesn't feel like something that should be $20. It really feels like the value is there. I reviewed this console just last week, and when I reviewed it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be my new daily driver. This is the one I wanna play. This now overtakes that spot. This is either my fourth or fifth console I've reviewed that's in like the same category, and for the time being, this one now takes the top spot. So would I recommend this console? Yes. Longer answer? 
Hell yes. Ladies and gentlemen, in the comments below, let me know your thoughts and opinions as always. In the description is the link to check this out. If you use the code ROBOT at checkout, you will save an additional 10%. And that's great, right? Get to play some cool games, get it for cheaper. It's a win-win. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. I would really appreciate a follow. And you guys know me. I'll see you sooner with a new video. Peace out.